morning students welcome to evs class all the children how are you all i know you all are very fine children so once all are read with me environmental study spelling e n v i r o n m u n t a l S T U D I E S studies, environmental studies. Okay, E N V I R O N M E N T A L S T U D I E S studies, environmental studies. Once again, you all are reading environmental studies spelling. E N V I R O N M E N T A L S T U D I E S environmental studies. Okay, children. So. Already three lessons are completed in your EBS environmental study subject. How many lessons are completed? Three. Three lessons are completed, no? So today I am going to explain fourth lesson, children. Okay? What is the lesson name? Animal world. What is the lesson name? Animal world. So the lesson name is animal world. Okay. What is the lesson name? Animal world. Okay. In this lesson, first of all, I will explain you reading part, leading points. Okay. So before the lesson, all the children first sit properly. All the children sit properly. All the children. Look at the board. Take out a pair running notes, pen or pencil. Take out a pair running notes and take pen or pencil and sit properly all the children. Okay. So in this session, now I am going to explain first one leading points today. Okay. On the other hand, spelling of the lesson. Lesson name read all the children. A N I M A L W O R L D. Animal world. A N I M A L W O R L D. Animal world. Okay, the lesson name is animal world. In this lesson, the first one leading points. L E A D I N G. Leading. L E A D I N G leading points. P O I N T S points. P O I N T S points leading points. Okay, what topics are there in leading points? So that is I am explaining to you. So first one groups of animals. Groups of animals. So the topic name is groups of animals. Next second one friendly animals. Friendly animals. First one is groups of animals, and second one is friendly animals, and third one is. Shy animals. Shy animals. S H Y shy animals. A N I M A L S animals. Shy animals. Next one. Give and take relationship. What is the fourth one? Give and take. Give and take relationship. So what is the fourth one? Give and take relationship. Okay. And next one, ears of animals. Ears of animal.
ears of animals next one hair and fur hey h a i r h a and fur f u r fur okay did you understand see all the children these all are the leading points in this lesson okay once again see all the children what is the lesson name children animal world what is the lesson name animal world okay once again read spelling the spelling of animal world a n i m a l animal world w o r l d world so now i am going to explain leading points so these all are the topics we are discussed in this lesson okay we will discuss in this lesson so these all are the leading points heading of the lesson okay so first one here group of groups of groups of animals and second one is friendly animals and third one is shy animals and fourth one is give and take relationship okay give and take relationship next fifth one is ears of animals e a r s o m a n i m a l s ears of animals hair and fur next one is hair and fur okay children once again read all the children with me look at the board mana read carefully all the children groups of animals next second one friendly animals third one shy animals fourth one give and take relationship okay give and take relationship next fifth one ears of animals sixth one hair and fur okay before the lesson now i am giving today only just introduction of topic okay do you know very well human beings have a families listen carefully stop writing all the children for your hand Rakhya's point. Then take a shiva teja. Did you understand what I am telling you? Okay. See all the children look at the board, na na. Listen carefully, Manisha, na na. In this lesson, children, animals also have families. You know very well. Animals, human beings also have human beings have families. We are living families. Are we correct, children? We are. Where do we live? We all are living families. We have a father, mother, the means parents, grandparents, and siblings. We all are living in one place. Are we correct, children? So animals also same like animals like also have families like a human beings. Did you understand? Like a human beings. Animals also have have families. Okay, so they are social in nature. Move around, move around in groups. For example, here I am telling you uh, what some of the animals are move around in groups. Okay, in social nature and move around in groups. So they do so. They do so to find food, find food purpose, and water, and protect themselves from enemies. Okay, protect themselves from enemies, and bring up their young ones. They feel safe when they are together. So when they are in the groups, some of the animals are leaving groups. I said now. Why? Because animals also have a family, like a human being. Human beings, who are the human beings? Sadhu ji, Pradeep, listen. We are the human beings. You and me also. We are the. We all are living our families. I mean, correct, children. Like a animals also have families because of they all are living groups. Some of the animals are living groups. Okay, because of they uh, they find uh, they do so to find food and water and protect themselves from an enemy. 
from the another animal to why because some of the animals are hunting so that is why they protect themselves when they are leaving groups they protect themselves from their enemies from enemies okay and bring up to enguans and bring up to enguans also bring up to enguans means here i am telling you uh, one uh, small what basic children so viviparous and oviparous okay now here i am going to explain about the viviparous and oviparous look at the goat children viviparous so shall i attend about them so these all are the just leading points so today i am going to give just introduction for you okay remaining these all the topics tomorrow i will explain okay so first today listen children only introduction of animals if you are not right also not a problem but uh, once you open the textbook you can understand it. already leading points are there in your textbook okay so look at the board all are carefully listen listen carefully so here i am giving introduction of animals introduction of animals so introduction of animals in this lesson children um in this uh, introduction of animals all right i taught you animals also have families and they live in groups because of they protect their uh, themselves from enemies and next uh, they do so to do find food and water okay that is why they all are live in the groups in families and today i am going to explain again they bring up their animals See here, in that animal season, that is why here I am explaining you first of all, viviparous animal. What is the meaning of viviparous animal? Here I am giving definition. Viviparous animal. Viviparous animals means children, an animal that is viviparous gives birth to develop in develop to live uh, live a uh, viviparous live uh, developed in live eggs means directly a uh, viviparous animals directly give to egg ones directly gives egg one how for example cow cow is not lay eggs Cow directly birth to egg one. Am I correct, children? Cow directly birth to egg one. Means cow. Cow. What is a baby animal of cow? Cow. So cows are not lay eggs. Did you understand, children? Cows are not lay eggs. Not incubate. It directly gives egg one. Directly gives. Egg one. Did you understand all the children what I am telling you? So here, here I am explaining about viviparous animals. Example: cow, sheep, goat. In our surroundings, are there these all of the animals? Cat, dog, lion. So viviparous animals are have a hair on the skin. Viviparous animals have the hair on the skin. Did you understand? Children? For example, see once all are uh, look at here. See here, female, female animals uh, give directly give to egg ones. Did you understand, children? Did you understand all the children? Please on your videos, na na. So, viviparous animals uh, on the skin have uh, have on the skin hair, children. So, for example, you once touch here like this. So animals uh, have a hair on the skin. We see various animals only. For example, you observe um, uh, human beings. Human beings also have a hair. Cow, buffalo. So these all animals have hair. Which animals have hair? So that animals give to animals. Give to animals. Directly give to egg ones again. They are lay eggs, not incubate. Okay. 
Did you understand all the children? So these are the viviparous animals. Viviparous animals means so here I am writing dog. Uh, cat also have hair. Dogs also have hair on the skin. Okay. And next uh, buffalo. Then some of the examples. Dog, cat, buffalo, and listen carefully, children. Look at the board. I am. Many animals are there. Lion, tigress. Okay, and next. So these all are the animals are viviparous animals. So, viviparous animals have hair on the skin. So these animals, these type of animals, this type of animals all are directly give to egg one. They are not lay eggs. Okay, not incubate. Yes, very good. Rampa ka specha, sheep, very good. Okay. So these all are the animals are viviparous animals. Just I am telling today introduction of animals. Here yeah, I am explaining about the introduction of animals. So in this topic, viviparous animals. Viviparous animals means they directly give to egg one, and uh, these animals have hair on the skin. Did you understand, children? So, oviparous animals. Here I am explaining oviparous animals. Once read the spelling with me. O B I P A R O U S. Oviparous animals. O B I P A R O U S. Oviparous. Okay, children. O B I P A R O U S O B parrots O B parrots animals O B parrots animals means these animals are lay eggs and incubate okay lay eggs and incubate after they uh, give to egg ones lay eggs for example see these type of uh, animals uh, not have hair on the skin for example hen Hen gives us eggs. Okay, hen lay eggs, but a hen not have hair. Hens have feathers. For example, all the birds, birds have feathers, so that is why they lay eggs. So, Sapik, what is your doubt now? What is your doubt, Sarvik? Ah, Sarvik. No doubt, teacher. And why are you raised your hand? You are raised your hand. No, why? If you have any doubts, you that time only you raised your hand. Okay. Okay, children. Listen now carefully. Oviparous animals. Oviparous animals are they. These type of animals lay eggs and incubate and uh, give to egg ones. Incubate means children. In our mother tongue, we are called for the garam. For example, you see the hen. Hen first uh, the uh, hens are lay eggs and after fifteen or twenty days, uh, lay uh, incubate. And then on their uh, like eggs, incubate on their eggs, and afterwards give to egg ones. For example, hen. Simple. You know very well in your surroundings also have more hens. So once you observe that, so first one lay eggs. So birds all have not have hair on the skin. So birds have feathers. You know very well. Already you learned in a previous class, third class. So birds have feathers. And for example, you see that example snake. Snake also lays, not uh, give to, not directly, not give to egg ones. Did you understand, children? So this is about the oviparous. Examples. What are the examples of uh, 
hair on the skin for example human beings human beings are not lay eggs you know human beings also directly give to egg ones did you understand children directly give to egg ones okay that is viviparous animal so human beings also viviparous why because we are also not lay eggs women women are not lay eggs women also gives to egg one same like animals also some of the which animals directly give egg ones so that is called viviparous animal next oviparous means which animals lay eggs and incubate and uh, give to egg ones gives to egg ones so that is about a uh, oviparous animals did you understand children all the children if you have any doubts in this topic please raise your hand on your mobile if you have any doubts okay sparrow very good but sparrow spelling you read uh, you written mistake the s p a r r o w swetcha sparrow spelling s p a r r o w so all the words are oviparous animals did you understand all the words are oviparous animals okay you are hen duck swan ass so these all are the words only can lizard lizard also lay eggs and incubate and uh, gives to egg one okay which animals not have hair on the skin so that animals all are oviparous animals but teacher uh, birds also have a uh, uh, hair so that is not hair that is feathers birds have feathers not hair did you understand children okay if you have any doubt please raise your hand on your mobile tomorrow i will explain groups of animals okay you want to uh, write the examples of viviparous animals and oviparous animals so this is a, this only it is a introduction of the animal uh, of animals introduction of animals okay say so what is the doubt yeah you the answer none of that all are birds i said no manichandana sarvik sarvik what is your doubt nana sarvik good at teacher ah why are you raised your hand manichandana next manichandana what is your doubt hen why not having teacher hair hens are the hens are birds no nana hens are birds that is why hens also have feathers but because hens are not uh, viviparous animals hens are oviparous animals so that is why hen also bird birds all birds all have feathers you know very well hen also bird did you understand manichandana understand teacher okay no, no understand i never understand ok ok okay children i hope today's topic you understood very well if you have any doubt still call me manisha dana and still if you have any doubt you call me nana okay